these teeth got to fit in that drive belt. And just like Billy Lane says, if you don't have all these teeth lined up, it's not going to work. But I still got a lot of grinding to do on all these teeth. And the SNS engine right now, he's got a long way to go. And he's never done one before, so it'll be interesting. There's his bike, too. It's a pretty good deal he got on it, too. I'll have to get back with you on the rest of the stuff. I painted a frame. You know, just temporary until I get everything together. I painted a few other things, too. rust while I'm working on it. Here's a swing arm right here. There's that belt that's almost six hundred dollars. That drive belt, as you can see. Thought y'all would might want to know how much that cost. Hey, I was just now getting this bike back together. I got the rear end on it. I was kind of testing out the shocks, and I kind of jumped down on it, and it just went to the floor and stayed. It took me about two minutes to realize what happened. The weld on the American Iron Horse pulled apart. I guess it had some weak spots. This is a prototype frame they had on the back of it that I'm using. Yeah. I already grinded it off a little bit, but you can see how far this thing pulled apart. I mean, you can stick a quarter in there. That's how big it is. But you can tell this whole thing strength to it. Just pulled right apart to hold it this time. And I'll continue recording after it. I want to show you what I did to it now, which is a lot stronger now. It a lot more support to it. More strength, welds are better, shock mounts, these jack shaft, belt, put it in. Got the whole thing together. I can't believe I put this whole thing together this evening and broke the shock mount and still fixed it in one evening after work. And I've still got to hook up that jack shaft to the transmission. Got to figure that out too. And figure out brakes on this thing. So I guess I'll see you'll see the next video where I'm figuring out the brakes and the belt.